Hi. I am doing one more video for Hadoop pseudo distributed mode. As I received uh, feedback from uh, other members saying that uh, the video was very lengthy, it was around 40 minutes. Uh, now I am trying to make this video within 15 minutes. With the same use case I used uh, even for single node as well as a previous video of pseudo distribution mode. Okay. Uh, before start, let me show the Hadoop download site. You can download Hadoop from this and make sure uh, download the releases which is unstable go to the stable and download this I already downloaded uh, extract this uh, by using tar hyphen jxvf this file name to your uh, location i i untired and uh, moved a copy to the users local hadoop this is the uh, extracted uh, files from that jar from that uh, sorry from the zip file Okay, usually uh, you can follow the same location if you want uh, as because we can provide the uh, permissions for the specific user to this folder uh, after that go to the conf open hadoop env .sh here we need to set the java path I already said the java home here my java was under usr lib jvm j2 sdk 1.6 oracle uh, make sure uh, java should be above 1.6 1.6 and above uh, we'll coming to the other configuration files core hyphen site xml this is the two two properties we need to configure default file system here in pseudo distribution mode I am using HDFS and it is running on the port 1001 and uh, I am making the temporary directory uh, and uh, user local hadoop inside temp it is the same path here I created temp directory here uh, make sure after creating the temp directory you give the um, sudo chow uh, to this directory for this specific user you can check the permissions also create and delete files for the folder access group root Then while coming to the another configuration file HDFS hyphen site.xml here just I am bringing only one property how many replicas I need to maintain for uh, file system checks distributed file system checks uh, how many replicas uh, I need to maintain in HDFS that configuration is nothing but this one and while go to the mapred hyphen XML uh, I am giving the job tracker where it is running <coughs> so under uh, Ubuntu ten thousand two on this process it is running as it is a distributed uh, pseudo distribution mode all the demons runs in separate each process 
uh, we can say uh, each and every process will run on uh, separate JVM. These are the configurations we need to do. Then, then instead of uh, calling Hadoop from the Hadoop installation directory, I'm exporting all Hadoop and even uh, Java path to my bash. Then uh, I can execute that bash. I can call from anywhere just by typing Hadoop without uh, giving the complete whole path of the Hadoop to show the hidden files. Control H is a shortcut to show the hidden files. Under bash rc, I am exporting all the script. Uh, I am just given uh, Java home and Hadoop prefix. I will later explain about the peak and high. As of now, uh, no need to worry about that. And I am just appending that Hadoop prefix bin to the path. That's it, no more configurations. We can directly run Hadoop now. Let me open the terminal. all the demands using start f and all the sh script it is starting the name node data node secondary name node job tracker task tracker we can even we can check where these processes are running if you see data node under 5836 you can see every task tracker, secondary node, node and name node uh, running on each separate process. Then we can view uh, via web console. We can view name node, job tracker, and task tracker. Normally, uh, name node runs under 574. and task tracker, job tracker, job tracker run under 530 port and task tracker runs under 560 port there is no task currently running So I am starting demo here, uh, I am just copying uh, the local uh, directory to the HDFS, then I will run a MapReduce on HDFS, it's nothing but simple use case, uh, I am just copying uh, index.html file and I am running MapReduce job on that file uh, to grab for Pratip how many times it's occurred on that index.html. I think I already moved that file to the STFS. Yes, it is indexed HTML. Already I moved. If you want to move, this is the command. Hello, JFS hyphen port. And you can mention 
uh, HDFS uh, directory where you need to put HDFS My HDFS file system is under this location you can specify a separate folder name if you want to put on separate folders I'm directly running the MapReduce job which I need to send after uh, reduce and start phase and regular expression for grip Refresh this. You can check the running jobs here. Currently running job. You can check the how much percentage map phase completed and reduce phase. See here, uh, map task completed and even reduce task completed. You can check the same here. Even using graphs and how much percentage completed. When running, also we can check. The same way, even task tracker, also we can check at the time of running what all the tasks happened, whether it is succeeded or failed. To show everything here under uh, task tracker, we can check the output from web console to under user. This is the output we got uh, after running the MapReduce job. And I missed one more part uh, on configuration. We need to configure SSH before. For that, use SSH keygen. It will generate a public private key pair under this folder .ssh. You need to copy uh, id underscore uh, dsa public key to the authorized key list. Uh, in the way um, it will communicate automatically without entering any passwords manually. 
this is must and should for pseudo distribution mode even for cluster mode I'm sorry I forgot to miss that uh, that's it uh, if you need uh, in detail uh, video I already uploaded a 40 minutes video uh, by explaining each and every field uh, while configuring SSH and even configuration files go hyphen site map red hyphen site HDFS hyphen site at XMLs. You can go through uh, step by step in that video. Thank you.